Madam Chair. Thank you. Minister, one of the biggest impacts on society, particularly for women and children, is the massive surge that we've seen in domestic violence. Shocking and disturbing figures have been announced. In the six first six months of this pandemic, Angarda Shikana have called to over 27,000 domestic violent incidences. And I dread to think what that figure might be today, nine months on. At the same time, the capacity within our refuges for women has decreased by 25% to comply with the social distancing requirements. And behind all of these staggering figures and statistics, there are real people, vulnerable women and children, living in constant fear. In the report from Women's Aid, women disclose high levels of emotional, physical, sexual and financial abuse from their partners, and in some cases as a direct result of the lockdown and pandemic, which of course had to be introduced to slow the spread of the virus. The mental health impacts of domestic abuse on women have also seen, um, been heightened during the restrictions, with some women reporting suicidal thoughts. And only this week we heard from the CEO of Parentline, Aileen Hickey, about the growing problems for parents experiencing anger and aggression from children, which has seen an increase of 27% from January to September of this year. She described parents feeling loneliness and embarrassment, trying to cope, and revealed a shocking figure of 400% increase in parents availing of the non-violent resistance programme. Minister, this country was shocked to its core when the news filtered through of the murder of Clodagh Haw and our three beautiful sons, Liam, Niall and Ryan. This brought into sharp focus the lack of provision and refuge and support for women and families when they find themselves trapped in that position, particularly in our own county of Cavan. Minister, our Joint Policing Committee and many other public representatives across our constituency have done their best to raise this important issue, and that is to see the provision of a women's refuge in Cavan. I know that the Joint Policing Committee have written to Minister Roderick O'Gorman and Tusla of this year, in the summer just past, requesting their a re refuge for women and their families. And it's interesting to see that Tusla did respond acknowledging the, dis the distinct gaps that exist in rural constituencies like my own. And they have acknowledged there's actually no emergency uh, domestic, I suppose, accommodation for women who are experiencing this awful um, tragedy in their own lives when it does come upon them. We're also aware of the fact that Terman, a uh, domestic abuse service in Monaghan, uh, does terrific work to support women and does provide a wraparound service for families who need accommodation. However, we don't have that uh, um, constant, I suppose, accommodation in terms of a, a refuge. And I'd make the point to you, Minister, we do not want to see any more deaths. We do not want to see any more families like the Hall family, what they've experienced. We want to see a refuge in the constituency of Cavan Monaghan. I know, I see my, my colleague here, constituency colleague Pauline Tully, and all of us feel very strongly about this particular issue. Um, we know that there is a, a commitment there from the Istanbul Convention and also uh, from TUSLA that, there would, that those facilities would be put in place. So I'm asking you, Minister, here today, and as colleagues have said around the, the House today, that you have put yourself forward in terms of ring fencing funding for domestic violence. But particularly in these times, I think you know there ha those gaps that we see in the, in the current situation, the closest in terms of uh, accommodation for women and family women and families in Cavan would be to go to Navan, would be to go to Dundalk, would be to go to Drogheda. They're all miles away, Minister. You're from close to the constituency yourself. That is not practical for women or families who find themselves in those positions. So, again, I, I conclude on this, Minister, just to say work with Tusla, work with Minister Roderick O'Gorman, close those gaps, ensure that constituencies like Cavan Monaghan, where the geographical um, distinct gaps exist, that they're closed and accommodation and safe Shelter is found for those women and families who find themselves in those horrific circumstances. Thank you, Minister.